Hey, 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 settle down at the back. This is quite an experienced feel. Now on your marks, get set and go. It's me, Craig Charles, and we are ready. We've got another half an hour of that Japanese game show that is definitely not a stroll. In fact, it's like poetry in motion, fueling the Pacific Ocean with the notion there's nothing more to life than soaking and choking. Stay seated because coming up in today's mayhem, we're getting lost in the honeycomb maze. We're gate crashing our way into knock knock. We're singing while we're swinging in Dragon Lake. <laughs> it's this simple, people. It's the Keshi's Castle. The format is always the same. Our man's man and lady's favourite. He's got a stiff handshake and a lascivious tongue. He heads his gang of gregarious gamers and they have to crawl, brawl and maul their way through a number of humbling hurdles. Set by the Count himself, he's an evil man. And those left at the end will have the opportunity to storm the castle. But hey, 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 we're off. First game up for 100 hopefuls is bite the bun. In this, our contestants are desperate to get a serving, madam. But as ever, there's never enough to go around, so some just end up rather unsatisfied. Of course, they're not helped by the fact that they can't use their hands. And their torsos have been wrapped by rubber rings. Sounds like a night out. In Mayfair, as a guest to Jamie Feakston, of course, never goes in slow mo quite like this. Lovely music, lovely people, lovely game. Come on, get it down your neck, lad. Oh, she could use her hands. Oh, bit of teamwork there. <laughs> Steady, madam. These are the people going through. These are the people almost going out. Come on, give it a good tug. Tug my bread. Come on, she does it, she gets that bread between her mouth. Slips out of her ring though, I don't know what's going on now. Not much to say. Sometimes when you're saying what you see, you might as well just let the pictures do the talking. She's down, she's out. For my ridiculous replay, we gotta see this again. Hope she shows that much effort in other areas of her life. 83 of our bunch have munched their way into slip discs. This is a game where protection is central to survival. If you open yourself up too early, the Emerald Guard will no doubt take full advantage. Oh, this is the game, of course. Keep your head down, get over the wall. Try and not let your ring get penetrated. If you come home with a penetrated ring, you're out of the competition. Emerald Guard, highly accurate, highly trained, highly salacy. That last shot has got to be my ridiculous replay. The poor girl didn't really enjoy the punishment she was getting from the Emerald Guard. After that, 74. Competent competitors, ready to rumble in the chipboard jungle that is the honeycomb maze. This is a hard game. I've been told that Takeshi's beasties suffer so badly from halitosis 
but it forces our contestants to run in the other direction. Come on, let's face it, we'd probably all do the same. You've got to get from one side of the honeycomb maze to the other. Avoiding the guard, just like this girl nearly did. She must feel cheated. From one side of the maze to the other, without landing in the drink. When you get on the other side, you have to find dry land. Only one door. And that's the wrong door. Will provide that opportunity. Ah, come on, lad. Oh, yes. No messing about. Of course, it's a sign. Scientific fact that screaming while you're running makes you run faster. Your voice apparently releases a sonic boom which disturbs the air in front of you, making it thinner. <laughs> and hence, you run faster. For my replay, we've got to see this crazy contestant. You can't blame him for finding the drink. I can't even see what's going on. The next testing trial is knock knock. And for this, success is achieved by proper use of your shiny red helmet and a hard head. Let's see if our contestants have grasped it. I'm not quite sure they have. Oh, you can smile, but we know inside you're crying. He's to the right door there. The right door again. Is his look gonna run out past the boxing monster? Back in your box, back in your box. Oh no! He's been netted! <laughs> Aren't you just glad that that door was. Oh! Second time unlucky! First time very, very lucky! Oh, just go home anyway! <laughs> A terrible attempt there. This kid's going for it though. He's wearing that beautiful tracksuit. Makes him look like he's from a housing estate in Coventry. My ridiculous replay. This crazy contestant went for the first door, hammer and songs, and he had nothing left for the second. Early bath, lad. 61 are left for Sumo, and Sumo, as you know, is big people against little people, unless, of course, it's like this one, it's little people against little people. He's got a purple ball. I could be colourblind, it might be blue. Looks purple to me. No, it's definitely purple, because there's the man in the purple nappy. Wearing the nappy to match the varicose veins in his legs. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There's a lemon ball. Oh, she's excited. She gets the little streak of yellow custard. She's got a bit of meat on her bones. She can do this. No, she's scared. Don't be scared of him. Oh, she's getting a little bit of speed. That's not speed, that's momentum. Come on, push, push, push. I can see its head. Come on, lad. Come on, darling. It's a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Go on, go on, go on. You can do it. He's nothing, he is. It's not happening. I've never seen a draw. Oh, she's maintained her footing. She's doing well, this. Oh, please, come on! You can't do that to the girls! She's putting up a good fight here. Whatever. She said to go through. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Not happy about that. She goes out, but I tell you what, she goes out with dignity and honour, and at least she wasn't wearing a yellow satin suit. Anyone got any paper? He gets a red ball. Oh, and he gets 
Red Bull out of the game. He drew those glasses on and he's having one as well. Got any paper? He got a green ball. They're not arguing about the colour, are they? It's green, mate. Oh, all right. uh, it's green. Yeah. General Lee has confirmed this green. It's Mr. Spud. Yes, out, Mr. Chip Fat. Oh, Spud gets mashed. Here he is again. Evenly balanced this. Two grown men in nappies. Oh, got any paper? For my ridiculous replay, the meek got beaten by the geek. Look at the surprise on his face. Follow through. Coming up, we are, for heaven's sake, going to Dragon Lake. And we've got Bridge Ball. Remember, kids, as the general says, he who is defeated wins. Bet you're glad to hear my voice again. I know these two are. Let's get straight back into Blueberry Hill. In this game, our return contestants have to slowly and silently bob up and down and reach the peak without getting caught. It can be hard, even for the best of them. Of course, the game is simple. Get up the hill and don't get spotted. Of course, Dennis himself is a cheeky little monkey. And he can turn around at any time. Catch you in full flight. If a dancing plum can ever reach full flight, that is. We are whittling them down now. Out of our hundred kamikaze kids, there's only less than 40 left. Oh, relief to go through there. All right, five foot 13 was moving. <laughs> it's unlucky for some, but not unlucky for her. Surely. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, Dennis. 13 has gone in the end. All the eerie grace of a dried thistle head rolling down an embankment. <laughs> Time for my ridiculous replay before Dragon Lake. Tumbled and humbled and bumbled out of the competition. 41, though. They bounced their way through. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. This game is not the easy... Oh! This game equals pain. It equals shame. It equals lack of honour. <laughs> I told you. Not an easy game. Especially for the girls. A lot of upper body strength required. He's wearing his rain clothes. Or are they his Dragon Lake clothes? They certainly are. Can he come back for a second go? Sorry, Oliver. You can't have any more. Did you see him turn into Jackie Chan then? Gets his legs up nice and high. Oh! Caught it at the side of the face. He came in his pajamas. Getting a bit of shut eye. Oh, easy peasy from shut eye to eye tie. That's the lad. He overshot his bolt. 
And those on the bank got it in the eyes. What's this lady going to do? Good. I was going to say good, now I'm going to say bad. She's come back, she's got in, it's all over, bye bye. Oh dear, so close, yet so far, it's not going well. I'd like to see this lanky lad for my ridiculous replay. Pass the test with ease. 29 are through to face the wobbly bridge over the river Y in bridge ball. It's so easy for everything to go horribly wrong in this game. I suppose that's why it's there. <laughs> Let's see what it does. Catch the ball! <laughs> Avoid the cannon! But no, no, you've got to get to the other side, you wazzard. Here he is, he says he's number one. He's caught the golden ball and he's got one in them. Oh, and again! Beaten black and blue. Oh, then he gets two to the head. Well, one in a replay, and he's out of the game. He's not looking that confident here. I hope his mum and dad aren't watching. More than that. I hope his kids aren't watching. Oh, they probably are, and he's out. His wife's going to work and he's on the school run for a year. I don't know what she's doing wearing the old man city away kit. Takes it well in the knees. Didn't take it so well there, though. Right in the midriff. Drops the ball, catches it again. She's going on in a Man City away strip and pop socks. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You can't blame the girl for going down. Daddy Q wa Utareru. <laughs> Sounds Portuguese, but it means a protruding nail gets hammered down. Took it right in the face there, but still standing. Oh dear! Oh, tries to cling on by the ankles, but no. You're like a floundering trout in a net. You've been caught. We're in the old Liverpool strip there, with number seven for Kevin Keegan, I assume. Has he got the skill? The dexterity? Is he nimble, fleet of foot and generally gymnastic? It's not looking good. Good recovery though. Ball in hand. Still going on. On his hands and knees. This could become unfortunate. That's right, lad, on your feet. If I was you, I'd keep that ball in my hands. Oh, what a recovery. Well done. This unhappy chappy has got to be my ridiculous replay. A perfect backward somersault with full twisting triple salka. 10 out of 10 for style. 16 bruised and abused battlers are left to pick the right hole in the final fall. This game should not be too taxing. Our contestants have to avoid the holes with the massive red warning lights above them. Sometimes I really struggle to understand their thinking when they get it wrong. Let's see who goes out.
big moles in this garden. Comes out. Very confident. And very right. No confidence misplaced there whatsoever. You're going through, mate. What about your happy little friend? No. No. Don't think about that. Uh, there's a big red flashing skull. Crossbones. Oh, well. Someone called his bluff. His bluff's been called. He's out the game. Past the boxing monster. What's she going to do? That's the lazy route. Oh, she's gone out. Never mind. She came all this way. Somehow it doesn't seem fair to come all this way and then it's all left down to look. <laughs> Long way round. Good call. You're through. <laughs> You're out. That's it. The last man bites the dust before our final showdown. Just a little bit of time to look back in anger at the Fury splash back and see how our fortunate funsters bash, splashed and crashed their way out of the competition. Okay, time for the final showdown. Only a successful six are sucked out of the pipe at the end. Where the venerable General Lee gives them their final marching orders. Will they be marching to victory? It's a good question. Answers on a postcard, please. They get into their dinky dodgems. Their mobile discos from the seven seas. They have to protect their ring at all costs from the marauding Emerald Guard. Highly trained troops. Trained by Count Takeshi himself to protect his castle. Highly accurate. Our competitors have to protect their ring at all costs from penetration. Oh, that one's gone. Not easy, this. The Emerald Guard. Elite troops. Oh no, the last one goes, that's it. The last ring has fallen. And that means, guess what? There's no winners this time on Takeshi's Castle. Tune in next time though, things might be different. Sayonara. Sayonara.